can we get a handle on the job market ahead of this Friday's all important non farm payroll report? Easy. We talked to Kramer Fave Paychecks, the second largest payroll processor in America, with a big outsourced human resources division that's doing so well as a kicker. The company has a terrific read on small and medium sized businesses, so it matters that when Paychecks reported last week, they shot the lights out. Boy, the analysts didn't expect this. These guys delivered magnificent top and bottom line beat while raising their full year forecast across the board. As a result, the stock shot up from 107 to 115. Now it's within spinning distance of its recent all time high. So, what does that mean for the broader Economy. Let's check in with Marty Musi. He's the bankable president and CEO of Paychex. You know, we've been behind this one the whole way to get a better read of the quarter and the labor market. Mr. Musi, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Always good to be with you. Well, Marty, you, you got it. There's so many, uh, let's say, ironies this quarter for you. One is that we know that Delta has ravaged the Southeast. Southeast was incredibly strong for you. Number two is a lot of people would have felt that small business was doing poorly. The small businesses are doing unbelievably well. And then finally, I've got to tell you that we know we're supposed to not be able to find anybody to go to work. Maybe your digital automation has helped them, too. So you got a lot of different things working. They all came together this quarter, didn't they? They really did, Jim. You know, we had a fantastic quarter, 16% revenue growth, 41% adjusted earnings per share growth, really strong, great team at Paychex that made it happen. But our clients really are rebounding. You're absolutely right. We've seen a lot more employees coming back, and you, our small business index will come out this month. What you're going to see is that while growth has slowed down a little bit for businesses under 50, it definitely is still strong, certainly strong, uh, strong almost as pre-pandemic. Is there a switch in where small businesses are? I think we all have experienced anything that goes wrong in our house, anything that we need, a uh, garden, landscape. It's impossible to find someone. If we were to um, look at where the new businesses are, how many of them are in this kind of small, say, three to 10 person, maybe 20 person group of people that fix things up? Well, Jim, a great deal of them. And, and probably the biggest issue right now is there is great demand for those folks, but there is a shortage of people to be able to do that. But businesses are trying to find those people and continue to grow. But it is a high demand, and I think it's going to be for some time. Well, OK. Now, another thing that you are doing that makes it so that there are more people, uh, the, the people existing can do the job. And, uh, there's a great moment in the call. Uh, all these innovations, paychecks, pre-check, the retention insights, the pay benchmarking, the client dashboard, all these things that are leapfrogging the competition. Talk to us about this great assemblage that you put together. Yeah, Jim, you know, what we found is businesses, small and mid-sized businesses, really need to be more efficient. That's their biggest issue right now on top of recruiting, of course, and retention of employees. And on the being efficient side, paycheck protection or paycheck pre-check is really to be able to compute the payroll, send a link by sm smart speaker even out through Amazon or uh, Google or Siri and say to the person, hey, here's your check. It's coming up. Please confirm that it's correct or if you have any issue with it to let your employer know. It's making the employer much more efficient. On top of that, the recruiting need is so important. And we've created products that will digitally send information from the client to Indeed, the world's largest job posting site. When somebody applies, that automatically comes back and preloads into our system. So we've made it a lot more efficient and a lot easier for people to run their business and hire and retain employees. All right, if that's the case, there should be some surplus uh, labor out there. Where did everybody go, Marty? I mean, 10 million job open. I don't understand where people disappeared to. I think, Jim, you know, and you've talked about it on the show, I think there's a lot of early retirements. You know, when the pandemic hit, right. a lot of uh, the boomers tended to retire a little bit earlier. They came out of the workforce. There's more parents coming out of the workforce because of child care issues. And then there's just overall concerns with safety and getting back to work and whether they wear masks and whether there's mandates. I do think that as you see some things coming up now, the unemployment boost is over. Uh, but I think you're also going to see that the the uh, the moratorium on rent payments that's going to come off, right. or people have to pay their rent, tuition payments, people have to get back to paying their their loans from school. I think you're going to see the employment continue to pick up over the uh, upcoming months. I was thrilled to see you are the number one 401k company. Could you give me some uh, view about what how you educate people? I think there are a lot of people who may not be covered by you in the same way that people who weren't covered by the PPP by you didn't get the information you give. What are the kinds of insights you're giving to the 401k administrators? A lot of people feel very lost here. 
Well, we're really getting out there. We have a tremendous sales force uh, education and, of course, our marketing, our website to get out to say to people, to clients and employers and prospects, hey, if you have a retirement plan, it is a very strong benefit now. You know, compensation is one thing, but benefits are becoming even more important to hire in this really tight market. And so we're out there making sure that they understand not only our traditional 401k, but we have a pooled employer plan as well, where we become more the fiduciaries and make it a lot easier for the client to be able to handle a 401k and get it out to their clients. And again, all of this can be done digitally on our five-star mobile app. You can sign up for your 401k as an employee. You can change your deductions. You can see your balances. Everything's a lot easier today with our innovation. I also think that let's not leave out the thing that the millennials don't like talking to people, Marty. They sure seem to like talking to machines, though, don't they? Yep. Yes, they, they do. And so, yeah, sorry, Jim. So with well, everything on like the mobile app, enemies, it makes it so a, much simpler. You have an app. I mean, people are talking to Alexa now. I mean, all of the ones, yep. you've lined up everything, haven't you? We really have, and you know, we're the only business now, only payroll company out there, an HR company that can, connects to all three of the of the assistant, the voice assistant platforms. And you can now that can give the client themselves. Uh, here's your task of things to do today. It can let the employee know, hey, your paycheck is ready. It's deposited in your account. Or, hey, do you want to make any changes to your 401k? Everybody wants to connect to their smart speaker or through their mobile app, and we've got it at Paychex. We're very hey, proud of it. One last thing that I think the analysts have repeatedly missed is customer loyalty. You have, yeah. uh, from PPP, I, I just a huge number of people, if you follow up with a question about getting the credit back, it, it looks like that these are people going to be with you for life. I really think so, Jim. We were really given an opportunity in a difficult time to show how much value we can really bring to our clients. And they were very excited by the fact that we helped over to our clients get over $65 billion in PPP loans. We've also now reached almost $5 billion in employee retention tax credits. That is cash in the hand of our clients that can help them either hire or retain employees. It's really been important, and we're going through a whole pre-check of all of our clients to see how we can help them get those funds while they're still available through the end of this year. Well, you know, I mean, again, I always like this because I am a client of Paychex, and uh, the, the job you guys do is terrific because it really is wall-to-wall -wall coverage. And when we have a lot of things on our mind, a lot of things to do, we need Paychex so that we can focus on what we need to focus on. Marty Musi, President CEO of Paychex, congratulations on another great quarter, a big run the stock. Good nice to see you. Everybody will be back after the break.